This is the second video for the 5.1b lesson on horizontal and vertical lines. Now we're going to look at an example regarding vertical. And if you feel like you understood the first one and you want to try this one and then kind of skip to the end of the video to see if you did it correct, uh, feel free. Um, it is very similar. It is the sort of the opposite line um, of the previous one. And so now we're going to state the x values. Um, so the first point. Um, is at a height of 7, and it is a right 3 and up 7. And the next point is right 3 and up 0. That's point C. Then we have a point right 3 and down 3. And the last one is also at 3, comma negative 9. So we're going to focus on vertical lines. And that would mean that um, what do we notice about the x values in a vertical line? All the values are equal, in this case, to 3. I'll click Share with Class. OK, so we're looking for x values that are all the same. And our slope for a vertical line was undefined. Straight up and down was undefined, not none, but undefined. Y-intercept was where did this cross the y-axis? If we trace this graph, it actually is running parallel. It never crosses it. And so we said this was actually none. This was a trick question. And the equation for this, um, all the x values are equal to 3. And even though the x-axis is horizontal, x equals 3 will produce a vertical line. We'll call it your class. And so our, sum, our summary statement is all vertical lines have an undefined slope. All vertical lines can be represented by the equation x equals a number, and all vertical lines have no y-intercept or none. We usually just wrote none. 